Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. It's day 23 of Vlogmas, and I had a little inspiration when I was out shopping and found these. I didn't know exactly what I wanted to put in them. I contemplated using them for my creative gift wrap, but then I channeled my inner dogmas and decided that people need cookies too. So I'm going to be doing the traditional staple of decorating sugar cookies today, and you're coming along the ride with me. This could go really badly, it could go amazing, but somebody is going to be getting some cookies for Christmas. So let's just go ahead and roll the intro. sugar cookie recipes all over the internet. So instead of going through the step-by-step -step instructions of this, I thought, why not just show you the process, take you along, have a little fun, and talk to you at home. Let's just get straight into our chit chat, shall we? I think we shall. I always host different polls and questions over on Instagram, where you can follow me at Bunny Place here, and I had some really interesting ones. I always get some interesting ones. Anyway, over there I had a Q&A time and I decided that I would answer all of those questions right here today on this channel. There were a lot. Now keep in mind that page is more travel oriented so a lot of these have to do with travel, but as always I do get a few wild cards. So I wanted to shout out everyone who asked me a question over there and then also answer some of the more popular questions that you all at home have always been asking me. So let's just pull those up. But before we answer those questions, I'm gonna go ahead and mix this with my hand mixer and preheat my oven. 350 and it'll take it a little bit. Hey! Now just a heads up, some of these names I may pronounce wrong. The first question comes to me from Hey Kelly Brunelli. That's a fun name. It says, where are you flying next? Now, this is kind of a tricky one. The reason being that, you know, I usually drive. I do love me a good flight though. And uh, I haven't flown in a while though. So I don't know when I will fly next, but I need to probably figure that out because I have a lot of places that I would like to go. And sometimes it just works out better to fly, especially whenever I'm trying to go someplace in a shorter amount of time. My next one comes from, Michelle Marie McNamara. Now, I've done a video previously of HelloFresh, and Michelle actually was the one who enabled that to happen, so thank you again, Michelle. But today, Michelle asks, did I make my sweater, my holiday sweater? Yes, I did. Several of you have since reached out to me and made comments about how you like the sweater, asked me where I picked it up. If you do happen to be watching my Vlogmas, then uh, check out the ugly sweater party. I have two different videos, the first of which, I make the sweater. Okay, woo, messy, messy. Um, I had another question from not your average mom of five. Now, this is Laura and Laura is amazing. She has an awesome mommy channel where she does family style like content and I absolutely love seeing her posts because she has just a really fun take on everything. Now her question is, what is my favorite holiday dish? There are several. I did make a couple of these already on my channel with the roll-ups and then the meatballs, of course, but I do have a few others. My favorite holiday dish, though, is really simple to make and only requires a few ingredients. Now, I haven't made this on the channel, obviously, but this is something that you might want to try at home. You're just going to need cream cheese, a little bit of lemon juice, some of that sweetened condensed milk, and a graham cracker crust. You literally mix up the ingredients pour it into the graham cracker crust and pop it into the refrigerator. Next up, I do want to go ahead and answer the question sent to me by the Rustic Barn 407. What is my favorite holiday drink? 
Well, I did make Grinch Punch and that was pretty epic. The green punch that I made, I really, really like that. However, if I'm looking for other holiday drinks, hmm, I like me a good sangria. It's not really a holiday, but you can make it holiday themed by adding like cranberries and things like that to it. And it actually tastes quite good. Time to put in more of our wet ingredients and mix again. Yay. Angela Lake Travels asked, where do I get all of my colorful leggings? And that question is a little detailed. I have several different places that I do get my leggings and I do try to share some of those, but I have found recently that for the super bright, colorful, soft leggings that actually Walmart and walmart.com have been a great source of inspiration for that. But I have also found that shopping at places like um, Ross and TJ Maxx, they have a surplus of these. Now there are some higher label brands that are more like athletic wear and they are thicker materials. You can find those at REI, Lululemon, and several other stores. But for my purposes, I like something that's just cute and in the moment, and I love the soft feel. There are a few places online that I will be checking out in the coming year and sharing those with you as well to see what the quality is. Before I mix the wet and dry ingredients, I just would like to address a few more of your questions. And some of these are personal questions. So eh, let's see how this turns out. Ulysses Soto asks, when am I going to the Caribbean? I don't know, but I want to go to the beach so, so bad. 90s baby 1993 asks, am I single? Yes, yes I am. Yay. DJ Check One asks, do I ever come to Denver? Why, yes I do. I love Denver. Denver has been really good to me and I've been there several times. I have thoroughly enjoyed every single trip I've made to Colorado and it's been one exploration after another. The past trip that I was there, I actually had a blast meeting some of my fellow Questavillians from The Dirt. And for those of you who don't follow my other page, The Dirt is my camping resource that I use for all of my cool campsites. There's this whole network of people who all like to be outdoors and do cool things. And it's so fun because I connected with my soul tribe and we had a blast. 10K Cheech Marley, that's quite a name by the way, asks, why am I so captivating? Clearly, you only see a portion of my life. I'm kind of normal otherwise. But thanks, I really do appreciate it. D-Trick D-Town asks, when am I planning on going to the East Coast again? And am I going to be going all the way to Maine? <laughs> this is a really interesting story. My last trip to the East Coast, my goal was to go to Maine. I didn't make it. <laughs> It just didn't happen. There's nothing I want more than to eat some Maine lobster. I think it would be delicious to have fresh out of the sea lobster all yummy. But I got to DC and spent a week there and then decided it was time to come home. All right, those are a few of the questions. I'm gonna go mix this and uh, then we'll continue this little saga of getting to know me. Now one of the more popular questions I get asked is where is my favorite place to travel? And that's pretty much impossible <laughs> because every time that I travel, I find a new place that I love and it suddenly becomes my new favorite place. And whenever that happens, it's pretty awesome. Now I've been to almost all of the states. I have a few more to check off. So I can pretty much make a list in each state what I like. And that's a little bit more realistic than saying my one favorite place. A lot of people also ask, do I prefer the ocean or the mountains? I like both. Now I like them for very different reasons. When I go to the mountains, it's a peaceful, serene quiet that you can't find anywhere else. When you go to the ocean, it's like this amazing thing that just like engulfs you. And the sound of the waves is just beautiful and it's so peaceful, but in a completely different way than the mountains. A lot of people constantly are asking me, do I travel by myself? And I do. Sometimes I have a friend who gets to come along, but because I go for such lengthy amounts of time, it often becomes very difficult to find a friend to travel with me. So, a lot of times that means I'm living the solo life out on the road. 
And that leads to the next most popular question in that little neighborhood, am I afraid? I think that it's really interesting that today everyone thinks that if you're traveling by yourself as a woman, you have to be afraid. I do believe that there is a sense of awareness that you must have, but a sense of awareness and being outright afraid are completely different. I've met a lot of amazing people and I've met very few actually scary people. And I think that because we see the world through such like an ugly lens, a lot of times with the news, that's why we think that. So am I afraid? Not really. Am I aware? Yes, very much so. Okay, let's go ahead and start cutting out our cookies and putting them on our pan and continue this little Q&A. Now, a lot of people ask me why I started this channel in particular, and I had some really good reasons for that. I love to try out new things, and this gives me an opportunity to do so. A lot of times, whenever you do one thing consistently, even if it's something you're super passionate about, it kind of stifles your creative juices in other directions. I never wanted that to happen, so I decided why not take all of the things that I absolutely love doing and put them into one massive second channel. Okay, we have two pans of cookies ready to go in the oven, and then I'm gonna get back to shouting some people out and answering some more of your questions. A little Christmas cookie dough never hurt anybody, right? Mmm, <laughs> so good, guys. Mm, I can't wait. Hey, I'm gonna be doing a little cleanup right now, but while I'm doing that, I wanna share with you some of the pages of some of the women you should be following. They are wonderful, amazing, creative individuals who have such positive vibes. And throughout the past year, they have been such an inspiration to me as I've gone along. They're always giving positive feedback. They always have something wonderful going on. And it's just fun to watch their pages grow and succeed. So if you're at home watching this right now and looking for some new people to follow on Instagram, go check out these wonderful women. all turned out perfect and these were thinner so I kind of expected this. The good thing about these is while they're not completely not salvageable I can still have these I just don't have to share them with others. So uh get in my belly! Now I'm gonna go ahead and try to decorate these. I made some frosting I've never made this before so I don't know how it's gonna turn out but we're going to uh try. If I can just get the sprinkles open. I turned the camera off to get the sprinkles open. And if this is any indicator as to what's going to happen with these cookies, it doesn't look good, guys. This little container right here, the top just blew off of it. And these tiny microscopic sprinkles went everywhere. I'm gonna be cleaning kitchen sprinkles up for weeks probably now. Now we're gonna dip our cookies and just kind of see how this works out. They're not pretty. Aww. I really wanted this to be successful. I really wanted this to be successful. Maybe we can smooth them around. And I'm back. This will work great because then I can just kind of throw it away when I'm done. So let's try to frost a few of these and just kind of see where it goes. I don't even know if this frosting recipe is going to harden. I have no idea. All of this is brand new to me. Let's add some sprinkles just to make us feel better about this. Instantly better. 
these look very festive now, so I'm having a little bit less anxiety about putting these together. Okay, now we just let them sit and then uh, we'll get to eat some in just a few minutes. My hands may never be the same. Oh my gosh. Does anyone at home know how to get food coloring off of your hands? Because this seems to uh, be like a tattoo now. Good times. Okay guys, we've been waiting for just a little bit and now it's time for us to plate up and uh, put some more of our cookies in our little inspiration boxes. I can't wait. If you've made it all the way to the end of this particular episode, let me know what your favorite Christmas cookie is and if you like to decorate or not. Thanks again for stopping by and I'll see you tomorrow. Oh yeah, make sure you check out all of those pages and the people that I have listed in the box below because they will make your life a better place. Bye guys.